Hi, welcome to Cubs and Culture for May 25th, 2018. Cubs won today. Um, excuse me, 6-2 um, over the Giants. Good win. Uh, Hendricks went 7, just one run. It was a home run. His home run rate is high this year, uh, which is a little bit disconcerting. Um, it doesn't really matter. It's just a whole bunch of single home runs. Um, but... Um, it's a little bit higher. Like I think this is his 14th this year. Um, granted, home runs are up across the board again um, for the last couple of years because the balls are different or whatever. Um, so there's that. He finally, uh, Hendricks finally gets some run support, um, uh, etc. Now the one thing I do want to talk about, um, just because it's been annoying me for the last few days, is let, let me let this car pass. Uh, okay, so the thing is, um, I don't know where this thought has come from. Um, uh, and it's very much sort of an old-timey, um, thought of, uh, having a lineup and having your set lineup. So, you have your leadoff guy, then your second guy, like, so, let me just use this. So, every single day, uh, set lineup would be, like, Almora, Bryant, Rizzo, Contreras, uh, Bias, um, whatever, and then the pitcher. Um, and you just let that, uh, you just have that line up every single day. The thing is, um, this more or less doesn't occur in baseball anymore, um, uh, where a team uses the same lineup every single day. Um, um, yet every single day, um, fans tend to complain about, um, uh, Joe Madden tinkering with the lineup, um, no, not um, that they, not necessarily that they don't, <laughs> not necessarily <laughs> um, that uh, they ha they have a lineup. He has a lineup different from what they would want. That he changed the lineup. <laughs> that like the act of change is supposed to be this really disruptive um, uh, thing on players. The thing is, there's absolutely no evidence <laughs> of this. Um, um, at all, that a set lineup, day-to-day -day lineup, um, being exactly the same is all that important, um, because, for one thing, Joe Madden's in year, uh, four of his, um, tenure, and he has largely, um, done this in his entire time, the entire time, the only time he kind of pulled back was the first half last year, but even then, it wasn't, um, and that was a, a energy saving, um, measure. <laughs> um, okay, so, um, so there's that. That's so why I kind of wish people would start complaining about it, but the thing that really sort of bugs me about it is the way in which other Cubs fans talk about this. Um, they act as if Joe Madden's just being crazy, like crazy old Joe, look at what he's doing. The thing is, um... Last year, the Astros debatably had the best offense of all time. Most of the advanced statistics, op um, offensive war, Wombus, um, which is uh, weighted on base percentage or on base percentage um, and slugging, etc. Whatever uh, runs generated, normalized, etc., 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 productive outs, whatever you want to look at, um, the and not ju not the pitching and not defense, but in terms of offensive production. The Astros last year were easily in the conversation with, like, the 1927 um, um, Yankees um, and other great offensive uh, teams. And the thing is, A.J. Hinch is very much a little bit like Joe Madden, um, uh, where he's sort of, a, a, he's not just a numbers guy, he's also um, uh, uses his eyes and uh, goes by sort of by um, feeling the impulse, as Madden says. Um, in any case, so last year the Astros, um, they basically had the best offense of all time. They used 144 different lineups across in the regular season. 144, which is basically one a day. <laughs> uh, because of, uh, oh, there's 162 games. It's just slightly, <laughs> it's just slightly, um, less than one a day. Um, and the other thing about it is Madden actually doesn't change the lineup um, all that much, relatively speaking, because 
Um, he's right in the middle of the pack. I think he's uh, 13th highest now. Um, in any case, I really wish people would stop complaining about that. It's sort of uh, beating a dead horse. Um, the idea of changing the lineup is what I was saying a couple months ago, that it's about playing the matchups. Because certain players are better against certain types of pitching, so you want to move them up and down depending upon uh, expected run um, offensive production. In any case, great win today. Um, I'm super I'm tired and hot because it's like 90 out. In any case, have a good night. Cubs and Culture out.